Assalamualaikum guys. I hope everyone is staying safe inshallah right now during this pandemic. Today I just kind of wanted to come on and do like a fun video. These are 20 things I wish I knew when I turned 20. And they are all on my phone as you can see. So please disregard me looking back and forth. The first thing is you don't need cable. Save your coin. It's been a really long time since I've ever had cable. Oh, cable is just overpriced and too expensive. You have Netflix, Hulu, HBO, whatever your preference is, you can find a way to watch cable for a lot cheaper. Number two, you don't have to be married and have a family by the time you're 25. I feel like a lot of young girls, when they're young, they always inspire to be married. And that's just not everybody's reality. I know for myself, especially, I was in my college course, I think it was like my junior year, and out of probably like 15 people, I was the only one, oh maybe 15 to 20 people, I was the only one that's not married or not engaged. But don't put pressure on yourself, like enjoy your 20s. I got married later in life and I do not regret it at all. Number three, never stop learning. Just because you might have graduated top of your class doesn't mean that you shouldn't still strive to learn. Whether that be watching a new documentary, a podcast, listening to an audible, reading a book, you should always want to inspire to be a better person inside and out. Number four, learn how to budget so you are not living paycheck to paycheck. Believe me, your older self will thank you. I made so many financial mistakes in my early 20s that now looking back i'm like what were you thinking so please learn how to make a budget being in college you're not going to make as much money but you can still budget and find ways to save money or cut costs okay, number five skincare is actually more important sometimes than makeup if you're 20 years old and you want to get a new blush or there might be an amazing cleanser go for that cleanser because over time that makeup i mean it, your skincare is more important it's more valuable it's important to take care of your skin at a very early age. Number six, when it comes time to buying clothes, buy clothes that have good quality material that are gonna last you longer. Sometimes it may be a little bit more pricey, but in the long run, think about it. If you have a shirt that's $2, and you have a shirt that's $20, that $2 shirt most likely is not gonna be made with top material, and over time it can deteriorate, you might get holes, you might get stains, buy good quality clothes. Number six, Seven. You do not need to have everything designer and you don't need to buy trendy things. You don't need it. Now that's not to say you shouldn't invest in a good bag or a good jacket, but think wisely. Like, do you really need that $700 pair of shoes or can you find it secondhand that's lightly used for 50% off? Number eight, depression and anxiety is real if you feel like you are going through depression or anxiety do not be afraid to ask for help or to seek help whether that be counseling or medication you have to do what's best for you don't be ashamed to have depression or anxiety or make anyone f you know let you feel a certain type of way because you do have it number nine learn how to cook different staple quality foods uh, that you can make on a budget you know pasta you can make a pasta five different thousand different ways you don't have to always have spaghetti alfredo you know branch out use pinterest youtube is a good source google is a good source you don't have to be stuck eating noodles ramen noodles or cereal mac and cheese cups i'm trying to think of all the things i had <laughs> peanut butter sandwiches or sandwiches. Learn how to make good quality staple meals. Ingredients can be found really cheap and really um, inexpensive at Aldi's. Number 10, so we are halfway through and this is one of my favorites that I wish I knew. <laughs> uh, travel as much as you can before you get married. That's not to say that when you get married, when you have a family, like traveling has to stop. Oh, I'm saying travel as much as you can during that time because that way when you do get married when you do have your family then you can make new memories at those places number 11 open a savings account i don't think a lot of people realize the importance of saving and how much that can really impact your later older self if you can at least save a hundred dollars a month which is 25 dollars a week which is doable budget and plan out at the end of the year you'll have twelve hundred dollars and guess what that twelve hundred dollars you can either use it or you can continue to build that over time if you save twelve hundred dollars from the time you're 20 to you're 30 think about you know think about your older self like that could go towards the down payment for your house so just think about that really try to save 
and open a savings account. Number 12, do not buy a brand new car. I'm gonna repeat that. Do not buy a brand new car. Don't put yourself in that debt. As soon as you drive off the lot, that car depreciates. It's not worth it. Buy a used car. You can get really good deals on the cars and over time you can save up for the car that you really want and guess what you can buy it in cash from savings from my previous tip do not buy a new car i don't care if your aunt uncle mom dad brother sister is encouraging you like yes you're in your 20s you should treat yourself you treat yourself but to a used car number 13 do not stay in a job relationship or a city that you have to convince yourself that you care about. If you are not happy where you are, move. Look at different options. Look at schools in that area. Look at jobs in that area. It's okay to pick up and start brand new. Number 14, seek out friends with different viewpoints and backgrounds so you can listen and learn from them. I obviously am a Muslim woman. That doesn't mean that all of my friends are Muslim. I do have some really good Muslim friends, Muslim sisters, but I also have one of my closest friends she's catholic it's perfectly fine to have friends outside of your religion or your viewpoint i don't know why people sometimes get hung up and they think that oh because you're muslim you only need to be around muslims or oh if you're christian you only need to be around christian but no that's not the case i'm a convert nobody else in my family is muslim you're 16 you do not have to go to college right out of high school college is not for everyone it is all up to you please don't feel the pressure from your family your friends and i know some moms and dads are going to be pissed when they hear that in reality like college is not for everyone if you can find a good trade school you know if you want to go into culinary arts you want to be a chef they have good trade schools for that you know that it's okay to start off at a community college i wish i would have started off at a community college because my loans would not be as much as they are now now looking back i just wish that i could have mentally i think started at a community college where the classes are a lot smaller versus the university that i went to number 17 the friends you had when you're 20 might be completely different than the friends you have when you're 29 or 30 and that's perfectly okay everybody goes through life in different ways that's not to say that you can't go back to those friends you know five years from now number 18 don't think that your life ends after turning 25 or 30. life doesn't end it gets better in my opinion number 19 don't compare yourself to others and where you are in your life you could be starting off college at 24 when some of your friends that you went to high school with are completely done that's perfectly okay it's all about your journey it's your life you're the only person living it um, I know for myself, I'm starting back up going to nursing school. I'm going to be 30, so <laughs> you have to follow what makes you happy. It's fine. Number 20, do not settle in relationships. Don't ignore those red flags. I honestly, I don't think I would have been a good wife or a good mother at 22 or 23 and 24, 25. That's not to say it might work for you, but for me personally, like, I needed to live out my 20s, I needed to learn from my mistakes, and I needed to grow, and this is where I am in my life, and I don't regret it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you found some of this advice helpful to you, and I hope that if you are in your early 20s that you're watching this and take something from this video. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please comment down below and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys.